My friends, I'm here in the Holy Land of Israel, and it's almost Shabbos, it's almost the Sabbath, time is running out. You hear the clock ticking. And we are about to enter the everlasting Shabbos with the coming of Mashiach. We know that when the Messiah comes, we'll enter a time, a state of reality, which every day will be like Shabbos. But we must know that the, the preparation for Shabbos must be done prior to Shabbos. Because once Shabbos starts, you're not allowed to cook anymore. You're not allowed to use electricity. You're not allowed to do physical work. You're not allowed to, to, to do a lot of different things that you're allowed to do prior to Shabbos. And that is the whole preparation for Shabbos. That is how you enter the zone, the realm of Shabbos, as you abstain from doing certain activities. Similarly, in the times of the Mashiach, we will not be able to serve God with the same free will that we now have. The free will that we now have allows us to choose to serve God, to give something back to Him, to have the choice to, to overcome ourselves. That maybe sometimes we have a desire to, to go against God, but yet in the face of that desire, we choose God and we serve Him. That is the most precious gift we can give God. And the whole platform of the revelation of God that we'll experience in the times of Mashiach is dependent on our work now. Because when the Messiah comes, the infinite godly light will be revealed. We're going to see it through the realm of the Torah we learned right now, the Torah we learned before Mashiach came. That is the platform, that is the vessel that the light that God's going to reveal is going to come into. We are going to experience our consciousness through that lens, through that those eyes. So it's very important that you give as much as, you, uh, as you've got right now to serve the Almighty because the time is running out. As much as we desire the Mashiach to come immediately, we should remember what it says in the book Hayom Yom, very important book in Chabad literature and in all of Jewish literature. It says that actually the Rebbe Rashab says when the Messiah comes, we're going to long for the days, days of exile. We're going to miss the days of exile. Why? Because of the free will we had to serve Hashem. Because of how precious every mitzvah, every good deed, every piece of Torah we learned in the times prior to the Messiah coming, just how precious it was. Because it was from our own will, our own choice. It's in a time of darkness that we entered the light. When the Messiah comes, it's going to be open and revealed. It's going to be so obvious. Doing a sin is going to be like putting your hand in a blender, in a pot of, of boiling water. It's going to be impossible to sin because you're going to... Exp you're going to be aware of how painful and how damaging a sin is and you're going to be aware of how pleasurable and how good a mitzvah is how it's the right thing to do so it's going to be so obvious it's not going to be as precious and appreciated and impressive to god that's why right now we have to jump on every opportunity to serve god almighty through that we may experience the coming mashiach immediately with the coming of the redemption and the clock is ticking shabbos is coming the mashiach is coming don't give up keep pushing add do a little bit more today messiah will already be here